This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Guys, Jurassic World is in theaters this week. Like most reptile lovers, I was obsessed with dinosaurs when I was a little kid. So what better way to celebrate the next chapter of the Jurassic Park series than to make a video about some of the weirdest extinct animals to ever roam this beautiful blue planet that we call Earth. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. The first animal on our list is the Daedicarus, a giant armadillo from South America that went extinct 10,000 years ago and had a spiked club at the end of its tail. Awesome. Like modern armadillos, it had a tough leathery shell to protect itself from predators. Unlike modern armadillos, it was 13 feet long and weighed one ton. Most notable, however, is the large mace-like club at the end of its tail, which paleontologists believe was used for combat between males over territory and breeding rights. You may be familiar with the Daedicarus' close relative, the Glyptodon, which is best known for its small role in the Ice Age movies. Number 2. The Thylacine Commonly called the Tasmanian Tiger or Tasmanian Wolf, this carnivorous mammal isn't a feline or a canine, but actually a carnivorous marsupial. The most recently extinct animal on this list, the thylacine was systematically exterminated in the mid to late 1800s. When European settlers brought sheep to Tasmania, they ran into trouble with the thylacine for killing their herds at night. Or, you know, a native animal hunting a non-native animal? Because that's how nature works? The Tasmanian government decided the best course of action was to encourage the hunting of this species by putting a bounty on its head. The last thylacine died in captivity on September 7th, 1936. Or did it? There have been hundreds of unconfirmed sightings of this animal in Tasmania since it was declared extinct, and interestingly, a few thousand reported sightings in mainland Australia. Fossil evidence and Aboriginal cave paintings show thylacines living in the mainland up to 2,000 years ago, but many believe that it still lives there as an endangered species. This is something that I really hope is true, and although it seems unlikely, life uh, finds a way. I could probably talk about thylacines all day, but let's move on to number three, Anomalocaris. This alien-looking sea creature is an arthropod that occurred during the Middle Cambrian era around 505 million years ago. At six feet, it was the largest predator to live during that time period. The two spiny appendages at the front of its mouth were used to grab its prey and bring it into its circular mouth lined with sharp plated teeth. It fed on trilobites because that's pretty much all that existed 505 million years ago. It's so crazy to think that at one point in Earth's history, this was the top predator on the planet. Let's fast forward on the evolutionary timeline to about 5 million years ago and check out number 4, Titanus walleri, a flightless carnivorous bird belonging to the family of feather giants known as terror birds. These massive birdies stood over 8 feet tall and weighed over 300 pounds. They were one of the top predators in North America, with a huge axe-like beak and the ability to run at an estimated 40 miles per hour. What's hilarious is that its closest living relative is about 3 feet tall and looks like this. Way to go, evolution. Let's finish this list off with another flightless bird. One that's slightly less terrifying and went extinct much more recently. The dodo. Once inhabiting the island of Mauritius, the dodo went extinct in 1681. Here's what went down. Mauritius was an island ruled by birds. There were no mammals on the island, so every day it was just a bunch of birds doing bird things. That was until 1505, when the Portuguese came over and began using the island as a stopover for ships involved in the spice trade. Some of the sailors on these ships saw the dodo bird and were like, yeah, let's eat that. And since the dodos had never seen a mammal before and had no natural fear of humans, they would actually walk up to the sailors' feet to see what they were. It was at this point that you could just pick them up bring them back into the ship, and have a dodo barbecue. To make matters worse, the Dutch later used the island as a penal colony, and when convicts were brought over in ships, they brought with them pigs, monkeys, and rats. And since the dodo still didn't give a damn about anything, the island's new inhabitants, as well as the animals they brought with them, made quick work of the birds as well as their eggs. After only 176 years after people first arrived on the island, the dodo was extinct. Humans, am I right? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what animals and topics you'd like to see in future episodes. Also, make sure to like Five Word Animal Facts on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miller's Wildlife. And hey, guess what? I'm in South Africa right now with Brian Barcheck and some other awesome people making a wildlife documentary. If you want to find out what we're up to and have some conversations with Brian and myself and the crew, make sure to go to wildbrian.com and check everything out. Oh, and by the way, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next week on 5 Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.